I can be your girlfriend. That would make you happy, right? No, thank you. After I turned her down. How come you never even look at me? How can I make you fall in love with me? My name is Keiichi Sato. I'm working at an advertising agency. Nice to meet you. I'm Yui Kazuki. I'm looking forward to working with you. She's the new employee. Oh, I gotta get back to work. Uh, what should I do? I don't know. I'm so confused. Yui-chan, let me handle it. I can do it for you. I'll do it. How about taking a break? Uh, do you want some tea? I also have snacks if you want. Oh, are you sure? Thank you so much. Ah, <sighs> what are they doing? What's wrong, Sato? You should be kind to her too. She's new here. Oh no, no worries. You really prioritize work, don't you? Sato-san, you must be really good at work. You're so cool. That's why you never have a girlfriend. Huh? Then, do you want me to be your girlfriend? Will that make you happy? No, I'm fine. Stop talking nonsense and focus on your work, okay? Hey, hey! Shimamoto-san, does Sato-san actually have a wife or girlfriend? Huh? Sato? No, no. There's no way. Really? Then why doesn't he give me any attention? Such a cute girl like me has joined the company, but he doesn't seem to care at all. Ah, Sato is all about work and money. That's why. Maybe he's just not interested in girls? Who knows? But he is dedicated to his work. But there are quite a few female employees who secretly admire him. Or so the rumors say. Oh, I see. That type of person actually makes me want to win him over. Sato-san! Can I ask you something? Ah, Kazuki-san, what happened? I don't understand this part. Can you explain it to me? Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm busy at the moment. Can you ask Shimamoto to help you? I'm asking you, Sato-san. Huh? Why? And besides, this is explained in the manual, so take a look at it again. Um, I did look, but I still don't understand. And Shimamoto-san's on the phone right now. I see. Well, then, look. Here is... Here is... It's not that difficult, but did you get it? Uh, well... I see. If you couldn't understand this, that means you couldn't keep up with the training either. If you don't understand something, you need to ask. Yes, I'm sorry. And also about this part. Oh, sorry. It's time for my appointment to ask Shimamoto for the rest. Okay. Yes, that's right. Okay, I'll make sure. The shooting has already been arranged with the photographer and the studio. Yes, I'll send you the map by email. Okay, see you tomorrow. Thank you. Sato-san, are you going out? Can I accompany you? It's better to have an employee like a lovely flower at the site, right? Huh? <gasps> you again? Are, are you, you leaving us? us? Please be quiet. I'm talking to Sato-san right now. Flower? I don't understand what you mean. Ugh. That's too harsh. It's that how you treat girls? It deeply hurt me. It's not good for compliance either. Instead of saying such things, you should focus on learning your job. You come to the company every day. I want you to experience the enjoyment and fulfillment of work. Please don't disappoint me anymore. Uh... Can you all take care of Kazuki-san all the time? Don't do things like that without thinking through. Uh... Here comes your logical reasoning. Seriously, what a boring guy. I've never met a man like him before. And everything he says is so logically right. But, but! There wasn't a man who could resist my charm. I'll definitely make Sato-san fall for me too.
Sato-san! Good work today! I brought you some coffee. You like it, right? Sorry, but I have to go to a meeting with my client right now. You can give it to someone else. Sato-san, the development department gave us some souvenirs. It's hot spring sweet bun. You like sweet things, right? Gah, hot spring sweet bun from Iho Hot Spring. That's my favorite, but I have a meeting. No, I'm fine. I have a meeting starting soon, so... Oh, that's perfect. Thank you, Kazuki-san. We'll have it as a snack during the meeting. Could you prepare tea for six people, too? Y yes Nice one, Chief! Excuse me, I brought some tea. Sato-san looked very serious. It was amazing. Good morning, Sato-san. Good morning, Kazuki-san. You've been working so hard, Sato-san. Can I make you coffee? No, I'm fine. I need to prepare the documents. What? How come you never even look at me? How can I make you fall in love with me? Even though she's giving me that kind of look, does she really like me? I don't think so. We come here to work, you know? What are you trying to say? Behave yourself. Sato-kun, can I talk to you for a moment? What is it? Starting today, I'm assigning Kazuki-kun as your assistant. You're good at your job, and I want her to learn the sales work while supporting you. Is that okay? Understood. I can tell her to accompany me from today. Yeah, that's great. I'm counting on you. Kazuki-kun, do your best. Yes, I'll do my best. Kazuki-san, we're going for a sales visit, so bring the documents with you. Y yes Since it's your first time doing sales today, you can just follow my lead and hand out the documents. Even if the client asks something, I'll answer everything, okay? Okay, but is that all I need to do? Yeah. He's so kind today. I wonder if there's something I can do, too. Hello, this is Sato from Aoharu Corporation. I have an appointment with Mr. Asakura at 3 o'clock. That's right. If I tempt him a little, maybe I can tilt things in our favor. All right. Hey, hey, no need to be so friendly. If I can secure the contract, Sato-san's impression of me will surely change. It's the perfect opportunity for mischievous Yui to shine. Kazuki-san, please hand out the documents. Uh, y yes Later, Asakura invited us to a celebration party. On the day of the celebration, Kazuki-san, make sure to clear your schedule, too. They want me to come, too? You're my assistant, so of course you're coming, right? Yes! What are you doing? Please stop! What do you mean? You were the one who wanted this, right? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the day of the negotiation. You apparently know that you're cute. Do you think you can give me that attitude? I'm your important client, you know. Asakura-san, is there a problem with our Kazuki? Ah, oh, Sato. I was just telling her that your company needs to educate her better. What do you mean? She was being overly friendly with me during the negotiation. As you can see, she's cute. And I thought it would be nice to talk with her in private. Your company doesn't interfere with private matters, right? Yes, of course not. No, it's not like that. We did make eye contact during the negotiation, but... But... But that's not the point. Sato-san just said it's okay. You heard it too. So come on, let's go. No! Let me apologize sincerely, but as someone like you, Asakura-san, I'm sure you can tell if someone is serious or not. You're providing this form of education for Kazuki, who still has a high school student mentality, right? Ugh. Anyway, due to this incident, she will be removed from the assistant position. I apologize on behalf of her.
I hope you'll accept my apology. Well, yes, that's right. I was doing this to teach her about society. Well, Kazuki-san is only cute, and I didn't think she could handle any proper tasks anyway. So I wanted to help you, Sato-san, so you won't have to keep facing difficulties. What's with that attitude? Well, whatever. Let's just forget about what happened tonight. But- Asakura-san, I can't let your words and actions go unnoticed. Please apologize to Kazuki. Huh? What a nonsense. Why do I have to apologize to a woman like her? Let's just say it didn't happen. To say it didn't happen? Like that's possible. I won't forgive anyone who insults my co-workers, no matter who it is. Eek! Asakura-san, I will report your words and actions to Mr. Azuma. No! Please don't tell my boss! Before trying to save yourself, you should apologize to Kazuki first. Eek! Mommy! Kazuki, are you okay? Yes, you protected me, Sato-san, but... But what? Go ahead and tell me. Don't hesitate. Sato-san, please, can you take me home? Are you alright? But it's true that your behavior during the negotiation was unacceptable. Reflect on it. Well, I do acknowledge your recent efforts. You've been given more responsibilities, and you're starting to understand the excitement of work, right? to be of use, but I never thought Asakura-san would do something like that. It was a good learning experience, wasn't it? From now on, stop being too nice to your clients using your charm. Save that for your boyfriend or something. I don't have a boyfriend. You're the person that I like, Sato-san. Why me? Well... At first, you showed no interest in me, so I became curious. But as I started spending time with you, I became interested in work, too. You taught me how to do things properly, gave me guidance and instructions. I've been working longer than you, so it's only natural, isn't it? Others were different. You were the only one who taught me about work. Teaching is difficult, you know. Besides, the others had their own motives. I see. From now on, be more careful, understood? I'm sorry. Hey, um, I'm tired, so can I go home now? No way! I'm scared, so please, stay with me and just sleep here? Huh? Sato-san? Aren't you coming closer to me? I'm still a guy, you know. If I went that close, I won't be able to control myself. Huh? So that means you're attracted to me as a woman, right? Enough already! Go to sleep! Hey, hey! Gah! I feel something soft on my back! Let me apologize for our employee having caused such a great trouble. In fact, we found out that Asakura had done similar things to other female workers from other companies in the past. Fortunately, Sato-san stepped in before Kazuki-san got involved in a further trouble, but we're truly sorry. He voluntarily resigned afterward. After that... Kazuki-san became my exclusive assistant and learned more about sales work. I feel more at ease delegating tasks to her, and we've been able to build solid trust between us. Kazuki-san, would you like to grab dinner together later? Of course! Not just today, but I'd love that every day. Oh, by the way, let's live together so you can protect me like the other day forever. What are you saying? You're always saying stuff like that. You get carried away so quickly. It's just a celebration dinner. Why do you have to act that way? I really, really like you, Sato-san. No, Keiji-san. Hey, cut it out. We're still at work. Jeez, I guess I have no choice.
Thank you for watching until the end. Please subscribe to our channel too.